What's up everyone? All right, well, here we are. Today is day five of trading in Martha's Vineyard, trading on my traveling trading station. And today is a small green day. It's the smallest green day that I've had so far on this uh, trip, this during this challenge. And it's, I think, the first day that I went red. My first trade, I was green, and then the second trade, I went red. I went down about $500, then $700 on the day. It was red at one point on two out of the two stocks I traded, and then recovered the loss by being green on the next two. So green on two stocks, red on two stocks, traded four stocks today, and I'm up less than the daily goal. So I got green, I recouped the cost of the losses and the commission, so it is a green day. Fifth day of trading in Martha's Vineyard on the traveling trading station, and a green day. I can't complain. And we had a couple really great days last week. The thing that I did well today was manage risk. Although it's not a big green day, nothing to be excited about there, it's a it's a real success for risk management. I kept the losses small. I never went down more than a thousand, which you know, you guys know, I can easily do that. Uh, so I kept the losses really tight as I started to recoup the losses. I did it slowly, I didn't go really big. Risk was managed very well today. So low stress day, pretty low key, and a small green day. Now today probably wouldn't have been under almost any circumstances a big green day because we didn't have a very good gap scanner. We didn't have a lot of good stocks to trade. So, you know, I'm, I did the best I could and you know, I'm up a little bit, which is good. And that keeps my head above water, survive to thrive, and I'll be back at it tomorrow. So hopefully tomorrow we have a better gap scanner. We have a stock that has news. You know, I was sitting here early. There was no news at eight, no news at 8.30, no news at nine, no news at 9.30. I mean, there was just nothing that really started to take off. So we did get a, a couple of pops once the bell rang. Stock's kind of squeezing up, you know, a little bit, but, but nothing big and nothing that I was able to really size up on. So We'll recap it. Uh, as always, I hope you guys enjoy the recap. I hope you hit the thumbs up. And um, reminder as always that trading is risky and my results are not typical, so I encourage you to take it slow. And reminder, there's no guarantee for success whether you learn from me or you're trading on your own. So please take it slow. Hope you enjoy the recap and I'll see you for the morning show live first thing tomorrow morning. All right, so I'm gonna do my recap here for today. Today is day five of day trading in Martha's Vineyard. Um, and you know, this is the smallest green day that I've had. And it's, I think the first day that I went red, but I was able to recoup the loss and finish in the green. Not quite to the daily goal of a thousand bucks, but a small green day is, is fine. And at the most, I was down maybe 700 uh, or so, and at the most, I was up around 675. So, you know, generally speaking, a fairly small green day. Uh, so my first trade on the day was on CISO. And on CISO, I jumped into this as it started to squeeze. It hit my uh, high day momentum scanner and, and sort of to preface, we didn't have any good gappers this morning. There was nothing on the gap scanner that really looked good. And so, you know, I, I was a little concerned that because we didn't have a good gap scan, that that was setting the tone for the day. And it probably would have been okay for me to not have taken any trades today. But with the bell rang and CISO started ripping up on the high day Momo scanner from 750 to 8 to 850. And I jumped in as it went higher, uh, but it ended up having this red candle that dropped right here. And I went from up about 300 on it to down 700. And then I bought the dip off the low and recouped like 200. So I'm down $574 on CISO. The next trade was on PRAX. PRAX I jumped into uh, thinking maybe we would get a reversal off the low. It's a um, gap down reversal setup. And on this one, it squeezed up here to 40 and then hit a high of 53, uh, but I just managed to lose money on this one as well. My first trade on it was as it started to open up on this candle, but then I got stopped out on this red candle as it dipped down, and then I got back in a little high and then stopped out a second time. So the losses on it were small, down $178. Uh, then we had GovX. GovX, I jumped in at 
225. It seemed like there was a hidden seller, and then when that broke, I bought at 225. We actually got to move up to 240, but I started taking profit at like 233, 234, and then I added back and then sold. And so I churned commissions a bit on this one. We also got a false breakout on the one minute, which created a double top right at 240. But, um, you know, whatever, no, no big deal really. So made a thousand on that. Uh, and that, that put me in the green on the day, which was good. And then Peggy was the last one I traded uh, Pineapple Energy. This one hit the Momo scanner and I jumped on it as it started to squeeze up. We got a nice squeeze from 320 all the way to four, uh, but it didn't hold that level and it pulled back. O only made 340 on it. And IMTE, I was watching this one uh, as it kind of came, at first it sold off, halted down, big sell off down to 950, then a big bounce back up. But I didn't feel like I could really manage my risk on it. And I think the issue today was, you know, we're sitting here at 10, almost 1030. And I'm green on two, I'm red on two, no big winners, you know, a couple of small losses. It, it just doesn't feel like today's the day. We don't have an obvious stock. Nothing is moving quickly. And this would have been perfectly okay and probably better if it had been a no trade day. Because, of course, I have some profit, but then, you know, it goes to commissions when I'm just churning shares, especially on a stock like GovX, which is lower price and the share size is higher. So not really a super uh, impressive day from a gain standpoint, but a pretty good day from a risk management standpoint. You know, it was choppy and I, I never really went that deep into the red. Very low stress going even as red as I went. I was a little disappointed when I was red on two out of the two stocks I traded, but I said, you know what, it's it's still pretty early. Let's give it a second. Let's see if something opens up. And, and we got a couple of things that opened up a little bit, enough to recoup those losses and put me back into the green on the day. And maybe something else goes from here, but I feel like the writing is on the wall that at this point in the day, the fact that I'm, you know, only slightly green is telling me I should walk away because I could very easily, very quickly take a trade and, you know, on something like IMTE, lose 500 or a thousand bucks. And just like that, I'm in the red. And then I'm going to sit here thinking, okay, well, should I keep trading and try to, you know, dig myself back out of the hole? I already did that once. I was successful. You know, and I really don't want to get into doing that. I, I did it once today. I don't want to do it a second time. So if I go from red to green, then I'm usually just like, hey, I'm finishing green. That's a good day. I don't want to go back to red a second time. So I'm not going to push my luck today. I'll come back at it tomorrow. And look at this IMTE, you know, just from 1250 back to 10, 1027, halting down. You know, this is very volatile, but not, we like volatility, but this isn't even, this is just, a mess. This is very difficult to trade. So no trades on that. I don't regret it. Uh, we'll, we'll come back tomorrow and you know, hopefully tomorrow or at least a couple days this week, we'll have a gapper that's obvious. You know, we'll have something that's, um, you know, a, a, a nice gapper, the floats right, the volumes right, the price is right, you know, everything's kind of lined up and, and I can, you know, have a six or $10,000 day like I did a couple times last week. That would be pretty cool. I, I'd, I'd be okay with that. Um, so, you know, that's kind of, I don't know, that's kind of where I'm at here today. I'm just going to shut it down. It's a small green day, uh, but, you know, green is, is certainly better than red. So 666 and 24 cents in the green. And I'll live to trade another day. So I'll be back at it first thing tomorrow morning for day six of day trading in Martha's Vineyard. Thank you guys for tuning in. A reminder, as always, trading is risky. My results are not typical, and most beginner traders lose money. And for those that are tuning in, uh, watching this as a recap, um, there'll be a video posted in the top corner up here on uh, how to read stock charts for day trading. So if you haven't checked that out already, I just uploaded that yesterday. Check it out. I think you'll enjoy it. And I'll see you guys back at it tomorrow.